the Falcons have uh, they've been punished now for tampering. Tampering, including the signing of Kirk Cousins and a couple of other free agents, they were fined two hundred and fifty grand. Now, mind you, two hundred and fifty grand to a billionaire is like what you and I spend when we go to Starbucks. But that's fine. They were fined a billionaire Starbucks. Arthur Blanks lost his Starby money for the week. They were also their GM fined fifty thousand. That's not nothing. And then the team lost a fifth round draft pick. So, Frank, let me just ask you this. If all you're going to give up is a little bit of cash and a fifth round pick, why would you not tamper every single year? Yeah, I just feel like if this is the tampering fine and penalty, why don't just do it every time? I Look, we all know NFL teams tamper. If you tell them, hey, OK, we're going to add three days where you could legally tamper, they're going to push that out. OK, now a week before we're going to start tampering. So everybody in the league knows everybody tampers, right? But if you're dumb enough to get caught, you should be punished like that. That's just how it goes in many aspects of life. And the Falcons were dumb enough to get caught. Kirk Cousins kind of let it slip that, hey, yeah, they were been talking to me for a while. And for the NFL to just say, yeah, fifth round pick and, and the money is nothing. Like you talked about. Yes, it is sticker shock to maybe me or you. And, and that's a few Teslas to other people. Arthur Blake just writes that check. and doesn't care. He doesn't think about it twice. So. Fifth round pick, $250,000, I, I'd do this all day. If I was an NFL team and you really, really want a guy, Kirk Cousins got the most money of any free agent who switched teams this offseason. If you really want a guy in free agency, you'd say, the, the only penalty for us is a fifth round pick to get on this guy early? Make a phone call. Who cares if we get caught? I, I mean, really, the, the, the punishment was surprisingly low to me, and I know it is to you, too. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, I, I just looked it up. Arthur Blank's net worth is seven billion dollars must be nice. seven must be nice. billion dollars this is nothing to arthur blank mm -hmm. the other side of it to me is what's more important getting your quarterback or losing a fifth round draft pick like if you have to tamper to get yeah. your starting quarterback then you're gonna do it if it costs you a fifth round pick if it costs you a fourth round pick like this is such a joke of a punishment from the league that i've got to look at it and say if i'm the vikings well we might get in trouble keep in mind saquon when there was some accusations of tampering for Saquon going to the Eagles. The NFL also told us today that they looked at phone records. They looked at all the information. They found no evidence of tampering. So, like, you can do it carefully enough to not get caught. To me, it just shows such blatant, I don't give a damn. I'm going to get my quarterback, even if it costs me that. We do, though. Yep. Let's at least have to acknowledge this. It adds to the cost of acquisition for Kirk Cousins when we eventually talk about whatever the future looks like for Michael Penix Jr. Because now you gave a quarterback True. a guaranteed contract of $100 million guaranteed, $180 million contract, and you gave up a fifth-round pick for the tampering portion of it. Like that, That's not nothing when we talk about Michael Penix Jr. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing I will bring up, and I, I think the Miami Dolphins fans, and specifically Stephen Ross, are like, Wait a second. Fifth round pick, $250,000. When I had Tom Brady on my boat, we got docked a first round pick and I got docked $1.5 million. What's the difference? And I get there's probably different levels of, oh, you, you reached out, you had him on your boat to talk, and this was just a phone call, whatever. But tampering is tampering, right? Quarterback is quarterback. I get it. There's nuance with that. And it's, it's not apples to apples necessarily. But if I'm Steven Ross, I'm making a call to Roger Goodell today saying, what? Well, they got a fifth. I got. We got to talk to first. Where this is ridiculous. I'm pretty upset if I'm the Dolphins and Stephen Ross because look, tampering should be tampering, right? Like if if you again, if you're dumb enough to get caught, it, you deserve to pay the penalty. As we've talked about though, the Falcons and how much of a penalty? Yeah, it adds to the cost. And fifth round picks aren't nothing. You, there, there's a reason teams hold on to these picks like gold. But at the same time, to land their guy, if if that helped at all, getting in on it early with Kirk Cousins. And, and you know, uh, re realistically tampering with him, well, it was probably worth it for them to give up that fifth round pick in addition to the $180 million contract.